Hey everyone, welcome back to Projects with Paul. Uh, today I want to show you my new zero turn lawnmower uh, that I got from a buddy of mine. Uh, it's a big dog. Big Dog Alpha MP. Uh, it's a 54 inch deck. I think it's a 2015 year model and it's got the Kawasaki engine on it. Uh, it had some issues with the it was breaking a drive belt. Uh, if you went through a ditch or something, anything other than level ground. And it turns out it was missing a bolt in the left rear uh, hydraulic drive. And that bolt, I guess, had loosened up and fallen out. And when you went through a ditch, it, it would uh, twist the motor just a little bit enough to uh, shear the belt. There was a, there's a fan built into those pulleys and it would uh, twist uh, just enough to hit that fan and cut the belt <clears throat> excuse me so we got a new bolt in there got that tightened up and that seemed to have fixed the drive belt issue uh, now I want to address the seat <clears throat> so it's got a really nice seat on it um, I believe it's just a plywood back but it's it leans way too far back for me um, he was a big guy so it didn't really bother him um, just a basic seat. It's got some spring suspension. But I'm going to pull the seat off today and I already peeled the cover off and just got this wood back here and you can kind of see when you flex it that it's just the plywood's it's just cracked and a little thin. I'm going to use a thicker piece of pressure treated plywood and see if I can get that put back together. So we're going to get the seat off and lay it on the tailgate here and see what we can do with it. Peel the covering and the padding back enough to expose these bolts. And let's see. I don't feel a nut on the other side, so get those off. See if that'll come off there. So I got the armrests off. Turns out when they're in there, like this, you raise them up to here, and when you push in on them, it'll rotate back and it'll allow that little pin to go past the stop. So I got the armrests off, and I'm gonna see if I can slide this back part off here. and get this thing back together. Alright, you can see it's cracked pretty good there. Both sides. I <clears throat> just don't know if I'm going to be able to reuse those inserts or not. So, let's see what I can do. Kind of 
see how this armrest works now. There's the pin that holds it. Nice solid mount there. I like the way they did that. And if you look up in here, let's see, push it in and it'll rotate all the way back and come right out that slot there. So, not too bad, pretty simple. All right, let's see if we can get a new piece of wood cut. All right, I got this nice piece of uh, three quarter inch pressure treated plywood bought for something in the house. And this is like a half inch at best. You can see it's seen its better days. So we're gonna lay that sucker on there, trace it out and cut it. too bad. Just got to do something about these inserts. I don't know if I can transfer them over or if I'm going to have to do something different there. Anyway, we'll see.
Safety first. Shot a little splinter right up my fingernail. I'll be okay. Came right out, thankfully. Alright, I was able to dig the old inserts out. I had to grind off uh, one side. It's like it was flared in there. But really, I only need the, the spike side to sink down into the wood. And the bolt and the uh, bracket will be on the other side. So they sh hopefully they'll work out. I just uh, got to transfer the holes to the new piece of wood. I got it sanded around the edges so it don't cut the uh, upholstery. So try to get the holes drilled and see how that works. Got the uh, hex drive drill bits. They work really good in these, uh, these uh, impact drivers. Get a washer to put on it. I think that'll work just fine. Plywood's a little bit thicker, so hopefully my bolts are still long enough to reach through there. Okay, the holes line up, but the bolts are probably a half inch too short. I'd like them to be about a half inch longer, so <clears throat> they do line up. But with the thicker plywood and having to grind the inserts down to fit or to get them out of the old wood, um, I only have, I still got a good half inch of threads in there, but bolts just aren't long enough, so. Even a quarter inch longer would be good. So let me go see what I can find. All right, I just got back from uh, my neighbor Mike's house across the street. And uh, he 
had a couple of bolts that I needed. He's got a little bit of everything over there. He's a good guy. So uh, let's see, I got one more somewhere. Four longer bolts and uh, let's see if we can get this. I got the piece of wood slid, slid back in the cushion and we're gonna see if we can get it mounted up to the seat. All right, guys, I got it back together. It was a little bit of a struggle, but I got the uh, plastic piece reinstalled in the, like it's like a male and female. I got these folded over and stapled on the inside. Tuck a little bit of that back up in there. Uh, but I got it bolted in good. I got the armrest on. Flip it over. So yeah, turned out pretty good. Armrests are nice and solid. They're definitely not going to come apart. They're a uh, steel structure inside there. So we're going to get it bolted back up to the mower. You can already tell it uh, sits better. So, All right. Got the seat back installed. It turned out pretty good. The uh, back is nice and firm now no more no more wiggle nice and strong sits really nice there you have it thanks for watching projects with Paul we'll see you next time